Here we're going to cover issue 947, which is where a very small object will freeze the game when it collides with a wall. And there's a very good little demonstration here, video, kind of shows what happens. Now even though this is very large, um, it actually has a very small internal size. So you'll see that it kind of soft locked here, which is great because what this means is that we can run it through the, de the debugger and we can see exactly where it's freezing up. And it looks like we can use a button to spawn a really big tree and another one to sp spawn a really tiny one. So let's go ahead and duplicate what they did in the video here. So we'll spawn one of these. Oh, there we go, we froze up. So we'll go to the debugger, hit pause to see where things are stopping. And it looks like it's inside of increment move. It's in the P try move ultimately. Is so it's move it try to move from one space to another. And so the game only does this when you hit a wall. So that tells me it probably has something to do with sliding along walls. And so we're gonna go, we notice here in the call stack that before P try move, P slide move is called. And here we have this loop. It executes over and over again until this TMX move or the TMY move is zero. So let's just put a break here and watch this as we step through it. Both TMX move and TMY move are not moving. They're staying the same. Well, why is that? Well, there's these if statements here that change the value of TMX move or TMY move. And it looks like it's controlled by the radius of the object. And look at radius here. Oh, radius is zero. So what's happening is that as it slides along the wall, it can't do that. And it gets stuck in this endless loop because TMX move and TMY move, their values never change because the radius is zero. You can't have objects with a radius of zero. So let's just do a little fix here where we check for that. Not ideal because this is called a lot and it could have performance implications, but let's do this just to test it out. So what we did here is we put a lower limit on the radius to a value of eight. Now this is not eight, um, eight pixels or eight units in the game. This is really eight divided by six, five, five, three, six. Very, very, very tiny. But I chose eight because I didn't want to take it too close to one in case there's some other math operations that occur on this number. Uh, we don't want to end up finding ourselves at zero where we don't want to be at zero. All we got to do is a mass replace of everything else. And so let's run this again. And there's our buttons to spawn our little tree tests. Spawn him. Boom, slides against the wall. Let's try the little one. There it goes. Yep, it slides against the wall. Pretty good. So that's what was going on. It was just caught in that endless loop here in P slide move and wasn't going anywhere because the radius was zero.